has basically gone, if I can't play Phoenix, I'll play <laughs> budget Phoenix, where yeah. I'll have my pop flashes still and be able to All right, almost have that old on CSS, defense. old school style. Giants on so attack. I, I think it can definitely work for him, still allow him to be aggressive while having Two utility that actually has value. Yeah, value for a number of reasons. I think this man will be able to do a lot. Uh, I think on this map in particular, actually, retake wall over towards the, or at least retake wall, but it uh, also hard reinforces over towards on the defense, elbow but and B. For now, GX are on the attack, and they're making their way towards the A site. And the tank is the one with the challenge. The flash popped through, but he's just biding his time. His yeah. Teammates on the way, and tank guys already securing two. For pistols, it's uh, for three them. one. And these players can now focus their sights on the site itself. Yeah, they do have to be careful because there is a giga lurk coming in planted. from. Yeah, Regar the longer, I mean, and with purple ready, red guys on his way. One. He's looking to get further aggressive. Crossfire being held, it leaves the tank incredibly low, and that flank is coming it back through the tube. This Can they the survive long enough? Here comes red guy. Has to probably get two now. Position, he has to kill everyone now. He decides to get aggressive, and now red guy, he has to run. Oh no, he's been seen. He's been spotted, oh no, it's just too little, too <laughs> Man, I've got, I've got some horrible memories of the red guy lurk, and that felt all too familiar. Over to Bayaz as well. Keeping it even. One to zero. Gentlemates pick up the pistol. And look, when we talk about this series in general, definitely feels like the uh, court of public opinion was swinging a GX. Tom, I saw your predictions. I saw all of your predictions. I'm the only one for gentlemates. What's that about? Yeah, they. Um, got a new player. Uh, I agree with that a new comment in chat. Yeah. Maybe when you, when you got such a big well luck on the go to play pretty yeah, much I everyone dueling here Logan as well as you do. and no That's one yeah. in A main, yeah. so so something's going wrong. 4-1 for I pistols. Think good players. Are you saying otherwise? Saying I think Kadabra's uh, better than most players yeah, out there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> Purple and I'll stand by that. Yeah. buys on his own, the hero outlaw, and everyone on the server can get one shot. Always higher than the results have suggested. And this map in particular, I'm, I'm hoping we can see some sort of old school fitty back on that duelist. <laughs> Not a bad start. Headshot for They're going for this sort <laughs> still of goes for the headshot. It's a lovely, lovely kill. And no one is watching. Okay, camera's going to spot him, right? So it, it Wait, it we have no camera. Mass risks about Did I miss where the camera was? The same thing yeah. and it okay, out they now get another gun that can one shot everyone. They've now got two of them. Although, I'll be honest with you. No offense, Rego, you're not the player I choose to have either of them. I don't know if I can fully fault him for that. <laughs> nice wall bangs from the tank. Yeah, in, in a round where we often talk about damage and a player like Purple able to pick kills, get orbs, and have that blade storm online, not likely for the third round, but I don't mind it. Yeah, they need to win. Just to manage that <laughs> economy on the left. other side. The jump peak that inch to take of the angle is kind of nice. Side. Any more information sought by gentlemates will yeah. come at the cost of the <laughs> This lives. is a nice run for Purple, Recon man. He just gets to bait everyone. It'll it's kind of sick. Recharging as we speak, but the drone yeah. is there. Yeah, you guys send it in. Chance to be used though, because he's pushed on immediately, and all okay, of the I think kills he, go their way. I think he missed his shot as well over towards site. Something to report home about for GX, but with three alive, and it's a decent second round for mates. Yeah, it, it leaves him. Wait, what's going on there? Okay, you, we can see that he's already going to have to buy down into a guardian, so. It's definitely not ideal. <laughs> they were definitely a far far. Thanks so much for the four months, man. Uh, there's a tech pause. And uh, Kadaver, I'll be the one to do it. I love you, brother. It's uh, it's been a while. I've never seen him in person either. We were, we were together during the the online era, but he has come onto the stage. It's Spelled his third game. His third map. And he spilled oh. water all over his mouse, Matt. You know, it is a rite of passage, Kada. Welcome to the club. <laughs> it shouldn't take too long. Yeah, the thing is, you do that at home, it, it's not so much of a problem. Yeah. <laughs> you can run away, get yourself Fast. some tissues, try and clean things up, but... <laughs> yeah, dude, the admin's like, guys, can we please remove all of these cups? What are you all doing? To not allow We're hoarding them. Anymore because he cannot be trusted. Uh, yeah, they're going to have to be hold. Yeah, get him away from him. Come on. Papa Bayaz will hold on to those for you from now on. He's going to have to... Like, can oh, we get him yeah, a in. sippy cup? Can he's, get him a no, sippy cup down on the stage? He's just getting rid of him. Now that you've lost your water privileges, brother. That's... Uh... <laughs> That's, that's, there you go, Gentlemates, guys. You can now sell Gentlemates sippy cups. <laughs> you know, just in case, to make sure. You oh, know you the see ones those that like, you can knock over? Yeah, you can't knock them over. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the play. That's the new play. Uh, what a start. Mitch will be first in line. Yeah, I'll need one. Especially if it's got cadaver branding on it. You'll be all over it oh, in a yeah. second. Oh, yeah. Get me two. 
<laughs> I will lose the first <laughs> one. You, you, know, you, you just forget to wash it. That'll be it. You'll oh, be like, no. uh, I, yeah, I'm just going to move on to the second one. Oh, God. <laughs> I've seen your PC case. I, I, I know what you're it's like. It's so dusty. So that's, you got to think, I rebuilt that when I came out here, Tom. That's... That's well, it's only more so that old. you use it as a table. That's do, the more yeah. worrying thing. Off at the old one, the the, the twenty two uh, kilogram when it's empty. She thumbs score Twitch. Thank you yeah. so much for Everyone the twenty months. did tell me not to buy that, and I didn't listen. But, Win uh, fast, maybe. I did live to regret it. Cutting through. Timer ticking down. Giants Mouse have been really hit on this on this map. Last, and GX ready to get back in the swing of things. <laughs> uh, yeah, you have seen. Yeah, it's, uh, it's very. Uh, I can I can mess you up a bit. It might actually be the exact comp that you want it to be. Down, but it's a decoy that they're using all that utility on. Takas is still on the other end of the tube. A slow start for mates with the weaker weapons. No aggression coming out just yet. They're allowing GX to make those first steps and hoping the spams will catch them to start with. Yeah, again, they've. They're not playing a lot of these bonus rounds, I would say, traditionally. A lot of teams will just play with the weapons that they save from the last round, or if somebody eco, they buy back up. But they have two players that are fully invested into this round, Bayaz and the Tonk. So they're not in a position where they'll be able to buy comfortably next round, unless they were to save a couple of guns. So it definitely has a risk about it, and it bit them in the last map, where they ended up having some pretty weak economic positions. But the side GX, of course, a similar boat. Uh, they don't have anything Decoy. to go back on just yet. Yeah. Yeah. Coutinho looking for the setup, but it's all just a ruse to try and keep players looking in that direction. So I feel like Jun's mates are doing alright in this. They're here in the steps, and you can yeah, see the they just let them take over to towards site. And they're pushing the decoy, down tubes as well. Ruse, but in the meantime, GX took advantage of that space and managed to find themselves a plant. We're on board with Takas, who's been in two ball round, but now yeah, this jewel is this jewel is giant. Play. It really is. What are we? Hoodie all the while just staring at this angle. I don't know if he's seen him there. I don't think he has. Is Cloud gonna go down? But does Takas even clear it? He does. Does, but doesn't oh, I hate the that shot. peak, man. Okay, GX ahead by two with Whalers. I think you got to consider one person being a main. I think you got to just. Yeah, they have to. That's the thing. They put themselves in this position where you've taken More. a risk. <laughs> no peak like that. Bought up with players that won't be able to buy in the next round. Standing so ahead. now, when it gets close, when it gets no, to the they point don't where you go, give okay, them all this? of this money. Absolutely not. Hold on to the weaponry. For GX, this is also just a great scenario because they get to win their first round with every single player staying alive. Well. Except maybe Redgar. But he's not going to see anyone. Yeah, they're not taking That's contact a lot on of Redgar, money, so man, good. for Giants. Well, Can't get much better than that. Clean round for GX, a money maker for sure. And a bit of presence sold. It started out with Fitinho being spotted by the drone inside a tube. He TP'd back and took a pretty nice timing on the wall cup yes. alongside the poison orb. That's just to put that there. decoy out, force mates back, and from that point they oh, couldn't recover. Nice I think they could have in another round where they're a bit more willing to take risks, but like Let's you said, Tom, there, there was a lot of investment going into that round. It just makes sense for them to reset ahead. and play the next round now, coming into number four. Ooh, what is this? They are storming it down too. Yeah, full pass and push with a recon that cleared over towards A main. TP out. Well, now just one. We're keen to make all that noise. And Bayaz, okay. I cannot Actually, believe the, the cloud swings the that. With that fight, but he's come out of it unscathed. He's going to use his drone. It, it looks still like going. he still wants to fight. This Again, it's incredibly risky stuff. I, that might have what been the are they greatest doing, shot dart distraction I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yeah, what are they doing, man? They fell for it's such a... As good as some of the lineups we saw from KC They fell for year. such a classic <laughs> but, place. Yeah, that's going to be the killer to hoodie. That shouldn't be working as well as that. Oh, KC under like the shout out to our gentle mates, it's it's one, nice. The new one. But GX three v five, wow. the tax side gearing up for a B take. They're not going to bro. The pips and cam after this would be credits for the next. <laughs> would be pretty fun to it. see. Yeah, I'm running in to Takas, who's teleported over to B. The gate crash was used earlier. Whalers tagged up and only with a bulldog. But he's got support. Flash is good. The tank needs to wait a while before getting involved. And when he eventually does, it's with great success. Purpo down. Redgar alone. And a one versus three. No information on the yeah, other two nice players. Window. Now just Ooh. seeing where Viper is with the snake bite. But they haven't yet located Bayaz. And now... Well, now he knows where all three are, but not much well, to do at least they info. won the round the after they let them one. save all the guns. Mates, but, but money still very good for Giants to get a full buy here. Yeah, the perks of the flawless of the last round, but it's it's still such a aggressive stance. I, I would expect 
We didn't need to replay that. <laughs> uh, I would expect something like that from a Yoru, or someone who can get out of there easily, but it just seems like Bayaz just almost hit them with some disrespect. And... Nice, sir! Let's go! I'll let him finish. And GX just weren't ready for it. <laughs> I'll let him a finish. Um, Papo gets the off power. Op so on attack. I mean, you got double jawless, so at least there's someone else that can send it in. Snake bite. And shock that up. Rikon goes over towards A, clears over a close. Anymore, yeah. so. over a close, uh, not this. All the snake bites gone. It's a big investment. A bigger investment I like the little bait though, jumping off the spot and then you can, can swing with the jet. Here on Breeze, in case they had an op. Open space to capitalize on those long -ranged angles. Lost Catch TP used for Takas very early on. Plenty of time left on the clock and GX. They've got B locked down with the Cypher Utility. Saw the cam used here by Redgar. He's going to be lurking out on mid late into the round. We've seen this a few times from him, even historically. Loves to play towards the elbow. Different flair to this one. Who's Walt just next? now going up on A. Bolt used. Here. Dimensional drift here. for Fatinho as he's clearing out a lot of this space. Here. Seeing that it's wide open. Okay, spots yeah, two. At the same time, oh, Takas' no, TP I, I has gone. Until the end of the round. That could be a big mistake. With the player still up so close. Yeah, I think he was trying to just catch a timing on rotations. Almost managed it. Carpo now. Up above. It means they don't have that flank through middle. Allow gentlemates to get in that little bit quicker. Hoodie. It does do a little bit of damage through that smoke. Takas tagged low. But still in this full fight V5 after hey, this is a like nice luck from the first kill. It's a really nice luck from Redgar and this time they're actually playing A main to delay. Another, and they start to pick them all apart. Bears though still standing looking for a Redgar little bit more. Should be Turns all right to do damage here though, right? Position, Bond's not great. That spike. They need to pull players away. And now Wait. Redgar's gone back. A little bit later, but he doesn't manage to land the shots. The time is going to be there as this. well. Again, another round just slips through the fingers of GX. It's always by the narrowest of margins. Yeah, I can't believe they're winning some of these rounds, man. I haven't seen Pipson for a while. I, I kind of just want to really see a Pipson in camp just to see like if he's that. all right, man. Some of these Shot rounds have been was good. The retreat back as devastating well, to lose. From this point, this is can't even imagine, actually. Knew there was a player in the corner, spams it up pre it 2v4 at its peak, right? 2v4 at its peak with the luck. Like you said, Red Gar's and there. and the luck can see the spike the no matter what. His teammates need to survive two more seconds. If they do, he can catch them off guard. But the timing, again, just slightly off. Blade Storm. It's the fanatic. Hello. It's been spotted. It's been seen. Four players here. Hunter's Fury. And the silver on Red top of it, and the swings Hunter's over Fury, towards yeah, middle. It's not gonna land too much, and that guy might want to back off. Let's use the flashes. They're doing this against a low buy as well, which it, again, the yeah, just gave him a gun. Aspect of it, no Speaking real of giving them guns, and the free, tank walks over towards middle. Push up from Kada. Not so much. Not going to be able to escape. That uh, one. A That's underscore Rednas. Rednas, how are we doing? Ground, Thank you so much for the 10 months. Appreciate the prime. Ready. Being retrieved, so puts this into a four versus four. Flashbang. They're going to have the information as well. Still further aggression. Oh, further now what? Pushes. Cage takes it out. Okay. Luckily, <laughs> yeah, they did pretty good. Dude, why is everyone going aggro against the Ecos? Relax yourselves. But the, the spike is down in the spawn now. They, they have to completely redirect this push. Uh, Pixel, thank you Even so much as well. Goes back to pick it up, he's so thank you for the prime. Of another player, player being around here. At least able to recover the rifle and all F three players left on GX are armed Example. now. Pixel, FRTN, thank you very much. Rifles for Fatinho and Hoodie. Three versus four. It's a great recovery on what was a poor start, but Purple's used the right click to what? no success. Bay has his flank caught the spike, and the last man standing barely even has a weapon. A cleanup by Gentlemates, and what was looking like it could have been a nail biter of a conclusion to this round. It's a bit more clean than I imagine. Do you reckon that was a misclick? <laughs> I'm not sure. Just a really so, is that a, a log is that a misclick? Right I think it's a misclick. It has to be I a misclick. I would lean towards it being a misclick. I, I kind of hope it is. Yeah, I really hope it is too. Just, I don't think I've ever seen a, a blade storm used like that. The pre-fire right click. Yeah, five to one. Uh, they're needed. Paul, Guys, give me the cameras. He's still okay. He's still here. Oh, like the that first map where Things just started to slip away it's like from he's them. Boiling up. <laughs> and also, you can just see guys the, boiling the up inside. I will say, in this round, I didn't really like it. Like the, the push from Cadaver just seemed like a gamble, and also in the tank down bottom mid, like it, it took the individual skill of the players to turn the round back. And 
it was a round where ultimately you look at the economy of GX and you, you don't need to do that. You don't need to take those risks, but that's just how this team is. A heart on the sleeve sort of org and a heart on a sleeve team. For now though, there will be a buy back up. Good time to take a pause going into what will be a purchase. The attack side is again where you expect to see these more solid executions from GX where the investment of time has been put in to get themselves into those post plants and even just how they play the post plants. We now get to see if well, they've got a plan for this one. If they get a plant, they can buy. Uh, they can pretty much buy next round as well. They lost bonuses so much. Cloud one away. I mean, they could do a, a simple plan here. Well. Every, every bit of focus is going to be over towards A or Gentlemen should know this. The so they try and fake like they're going to go aggro over towards A. Just the cage actually thrown for now. Faking like they're... Okay, they're pretty much faking like they're doing the uh, aggro push that they did here and here. Decoy destroyed inside of the tube. Been thrown out a few times. Uh, Rowan Val, thank you so much, man. Like Appreciate the, the prime. Thank you for the 10 months as well. So Dirk can find a lot of value from this same Appreciate spot, the although usage. there was a wall in play to obscure him slightly. There goes the decoy, and they don't take the bait. Taka spotted, though, has to gate crash good TP out. out. And it's a nice early well. pick. Fatinha has his ult now. Now out of the game, GX free to plant. Spike plant. Oh, the luck this time from Rekka. A different position. He's hey, going to win the second fight as well. Yeah, maybe got the all important kill over towards site. Cuts off the rotations at the legs and leaves. Just I think, remaining. um, I, I don't know what the comms Again, were like here from Gentlemates, but as soon as, as cash, this person dies, to, um, wait, I can't remember who it was. Was, was it the drone that saw them planting here? There was some info that saw them planting here. As soon as you see this plant, you should know that it's a plant for a guy that's jumping up over towards shore. So I, I don't know if the comms were bad or if they just don't know as players that if you see this plant, you have to just say that someone's either over towards shore or they're planting for the short lag. Now a bit of danger because for with the information they got of the plant here, they should oh, instantly be checking like over Rikers towards short, in my opinion. No, he's just going to let him carry it through. Have your one rifle, they say. The drone was flashed. Do you reckon they didn't see it? If, if you look maybe. at the finances, they'll already do a little bit of extra damage, but also they're yeah, maybe, buy maybe the drone was full flashed. Whereas I think for GX, finally winning themselves around, getting onto that board, you want to make sure that your own economy has a little bit of wiggle room. Okay, if the drone was flashed, then we'll let them off. They also have some nice combinations for this next one. Having that Hunter's Fury alongside the Dimensional Drift is always a great combination to get yourself an opener. Here. The only worry I have with it is the fact that there's the Null Command on a Viper's Pit. Two things that could, in theory, deny. Spam was close. Bayaz is, oh, is out in there. trouble, man. Now the dimensional drift is going to hunt it down. Okay. Hunter's Fury activated. Redgar's down by the spam, but Purple manages the trade and the tank down as well. This ult is so, so strong, man. The on the site. Your so ult is so strong. Coutinho still with a flash in his back pocket, but he can't use it thanks to this ultimate in play. It'd have to be dry swings. Oops. In the end, the tank goes down. Yeah, not worth the risk. Instead, it's going to be the big out, and well, both kills coming oh, up. Yeah, for that was a lovely big second shot on that. Up the first and Two in a row. To do even more on the next. Are they back? We now look towards Canada. Nobody currently watching that flank. It has to start getting into the back of their minds. Cloud is dead, maybe to the plant, but no, they're watching in that direction. And Purpo will be ready in the end. A third round on the board. A relatively clean one as well from GX with the ultimates used in combination in tandem. And now looking at the side of Gentlemates, it's again a little bit more shaky with the purchase. One that you might want to question whether or not you go for. Surprise Bay has got the first, but the value found by the push up from Purpo. Uh, Robbie. Understated. Thank you so much as well, man. As well. We saw his double in the Good replay. Shot, Thank you so much for, for the five months, bro. Appreciate the prime. Again, the yeah, this is a good timeout as well. The one thing that I do see chance. from Gentlemates, uh, kind of coming over from their Sunset game as well, is when he can't help them, and it's like mid-round, and he hasn't had a timeout for a while. The decisions for their ults and the enemy's ults are really off. Like, I if I was looking from the inside like out, on the like I think that's the yeah, one thing that gentlemen can really well, focus the on. The on the desk as well is their overall the plans when they have ults and the enemy has ults, it feels like, like it's a step behind. It's very 
almost telegraphed what that's, they're going to be doing. Well, is that and easy so to fix? So them having a good performance is very important. It's also a little bit worrying how like, Cloud's just not in the server right now, considering like you think back to last map, he had so many high impact rounds. If he starts to wake up, there's still opportunities for GX. On the other side of things, I do think that a lot of what gentlemates were attempting, even on players that don't have a get yeah. out of jail free card, was just hyper aggression. Like getting TM is like my evil twin. In Isn't TMV? He's like my, my angry brother. So once GX realized that, I'm looking for the good in everything, and he's looking for the bad that. in everything. Payas has bought a hero operator for himself. Yes. See, I, I saw them like going for the buy, and I was like, that's a little bit risky. This was never on the cards. It was not something I expected, even for one <laughs> second. <laughs> it's the bullet gun. You why. <laughs> Bro's moved. Not exactly a Where's the bullet gun? He held on for ages. Say. He just sidestepped before he shot. Spike planted. Maybe it worked in scrims. <laughs> but it just... <laughs> uh, Zello, Valorant, I'm thank so, you so, so much, confused. man. Thank like, you, thank you. You have a, a Yoru who could get the aggressive months, with Appreciate the man. Appreciate the prime. And it's Takas. He's yeah. very good at that. That's 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 baffling. I don't know. Yeah, maybe uh, he's, he's actually been hitting the, the off DM. Maybe he saw some uh, Bazi in the past. Bazi was always a Sova operator player. Maybe he just said, it's my credits, mate, right? Yeah, you I know. saved it. Did he say mate as well? Probably, yeah. Uh, those, these are my credits, mates. <laughs> mates, exactly. Last yeah, well, it's going as hey, Fatinia has been fragging out recently. Rifle to be saved like, out what, by on the B site. Rest of the squad already down and out, and Spike soon to explode. GX with a fourth now, and another repeatable success. Dealing with the operator right off rip. But I'm not sure we'll see that setup for mates again. <laughs> I think they literally can't afford it, so... <laughs> they can think of maybe... Maybe if someone plays with nothing, they can drop him one. Whoa. Maybe in a future round. I'm not sure if you'll look at that. Oh, round you're just saying that. Let's do it again. Takas has bought the glass oh. cannon one. So he didn't want it last round when he could have been dropped it, but he wanted it this round where he doesn't have Did shields. Did he not want it last round? Makes sense. We'll never know the reason. Uh, Jellyot, thank you so much as well. Yeah. I, I'm sure I Wait, Tower Troop actually got signed now? It's about time. This time, a four-man stuck up outside DZ. of the A site. Dark just Zero. All in, straight off the back of this, but it is a slaughter. Oh, man. The they were so ready for this push. Giants are heavily back into this, really to the point to of where Gentlemates are struggling every round. So fast. And while even when they directly try and counter this A take, they get wrecked. Well, GX was just very ready for it. So many players inside that choke point, two further back, not even going to be caught by any initial utility you throw through. The op shot doesn't land either. Who's next? They're waiting for a Hail Mary play. And the gentleman side might not have the opportunity to capitalize on the investments they've made. Maybe we'll even see them carry these through to the next. Think about a save already. Look at the rotation from the tank, making it to B. Spike this is planted. what's going to tell us. They now know the spike's been planted, and they shift yeah, yeah. more to the left side of the map. That is definitely telling you they're not looking to win this round. Instead, these weapons will be carried forward. They'll have a bit more of a scrappy buy for the yeah, next. Yeah, it doesn't really matter about the save anymore. And for a second, I was at, say at this Kyle point, again, online, when you kind of do that round early on, ago on well, B's saying that, right they the actually managed the to get their econ pretty low. So that's not but there to work with the either. econ is just so yeah, out of control again, that you can start doing this now. Just when you do it early on in the game, for that's when that's it has a big attempted. impact. And, and the only sort of... It, it's like... Yuriko, it's how we doing, mate? Thanks for the nine months. Just says the word aggression on it. It's like there hasn't been any other sort of adaptation. It's like, okay, we <laughs> Thank tried you for that, Yuriko. holding a main with an operator. Okay, that didn't work. What's like the next poetry, part? man. Different player's going to be on a main with an operator, but now he has three My friends, and we're just going to swing it. And it's like, well... Kill does they're matter. They're waiting on the other side for us. Yes. Yeah, it means he can't get a Does flash. Does that not sound risky? Does that change anything? So Oi. Oh, well, that replay makes it look a little bit more forgivable. The flash was good. It blinded a player, and they still managed to get a headshot on you as you walk through. It is the downside of it being oh, a choke a, point. Yeah, but that, yeah. very predictable timing that when the flash pops, someone's going to swing. Yeah, and if, if you've got decent crosshair placement, I, well, it's not the most surprising thing Anyone here thing doesn't world. have decent crosshair placement. <laughs> yeah, I think they're in the wrong place. <laughs> Five to five. After what was a, an impressive start from Gentlemates, things have started to diminish. As oh, said, no. I always have more faith in this team when it comes to the attack side. And Takas still having that okay. operator. They've Knows still been able to the save weaponry over. 
It's not like this is a death sentence. No. There's a fast instant reposition from him. We've got three people, on, sorry, four people again, on site. No how many Surely gentlemen's win this. Been successful. Deco leading the charge again. A council call here would be giant. It would be everything. No you don't want to run in here. Look how much Utah has been thrown. Yeah, there we go. Have been perfect. Right? Straight through the pyramids. And he's lit Purpo down to four health. Almost the opening pick blind. Yeah, that's the I think now GX have realized how much of a stack they're walking into. They've seen nades, snake bites. Probably a shock dart or two. Oh, whiff shot. I mean, tagged Definitely him. not comfortable. Nice work from the tank, though. Fitinho has been doing that quite a bit, so denying the space that he's been taking. Left. Definitely helped them out. Low I HP for Purpo. Exactly Getting everything will be tough. I'm on now. Redgar hoodie with 20 seconds to try and get a plan. I don't, don't know if off. anything's going to be possible. In fact, they're both holding snipers. 20 seconds. <laughs> this is not the weaponry you want when you need to encroach onto the site with just seconds left. This round already looks over. It would have to be a mistake. And while one kill goes their way, but Hoodie is so desperately low. Yeah, well, I mean, doesn't know the Whalers is still there. They had the stack. And they had just a nice setup here. They had the stack. They used everything to stop the rush. And then they just had one person watching the line for the rotate. So even though they cut sound trying to create question marks like they could have gone over towards B. The fact that the op was just holding middle the whole time. Everyone could hold a three person strong over towards A. That was nice. Even though the shot didn't hit at middle, the info was everything. Let's see how close that was the first time. Yeah, that's the thing. I think Fitinho definitely got red in that round, but I also just think we saw what happens when they use their utility. Like, they have to stack up in the same place, but they use their utility to slow down rather than their faces. And weirdly, that was a, it was more successful. But even still, GX are not deterred. Still, they have four players stacked up outside of A. One lurking around the elbow. A very aggressive spot by Taka. See, this is one that if Redgar went back, he'd actually have a free kill. But for, well, why would he do that? Yeah. Usually you see him sit around the boxes for quite a while, but he's quickly on the move, hastening those flanks, taking control of mid, but that's an area that has been conceded. It's not somewhere that they're exposed to on the site. So we'll have trouble to find value from this position. Perhaps Redgar. he can catch one off guard. There's the head. Revealing itself to him. The shots are landing. Eventually they will, but the punish. Just enough time for Cadaver to react. And he corrects on the cloud while the rest of the squad comes through for every other kill. It's Hoodie. Viper's pit there to work with, but he can't even activate it. Seven. A wall bang I mean, from Takas. Giants did really good, like mid, seven mid section of this half. Yeah, I think it took yeah, that, that a little from bit longer than they would have liked to re recalibrate. Strong, but in those last few rounds, we definitely saw, like, GX sort of just try the same thing again and again without the same success. I will say it worried me a little bit just how much space the Redgar was able to get. Like basically walking all the way around the elbow and yes. still managing to get up mid without anybody noticing. But I guess the job is done. Mates now moving on to their attack side and we have to Look see at this raid boss. On the defense, it's the Aspas style said, of the raid boss. The it, sheriff light armor. Saying, like, Who had to drop him the sheriff? Whalers, man. Whalers taking the hit. So we kind of Wait. Hope they've got some decent setups here. Wait, we've got two of them. You would have to hope so. We got, we got double raid boss with sheriffs. With the Whalers and least, Cadaver taking the hit. Mid, in a spot I've never seen a double raid boss with sheriffs. Though he hasn't put his gate crash out yet. Initial contact further back from Redguard, just spotting his camera. You'll have two players top mid swinging on the back of contact for Fidinho, but Knife clears pretty much all the left. Way. Still got to worry about back of sight. Look over the spike is even as they make this. And they spotted the cipher. The it's not a push, not a full commitment at least. Keep an eye on the luck. Although that on might tube. change as they see how wide open the site truly is. Oh, and they're in a good spot. Not too far away. Whalers is luck. Has he just, been he just needs to chill though and stay alive. As this now becomes a, a full retake. Oh, Can that's a lot of people there. Well, pretty much every single and player. not much map control. Of course, not Can't believe no one pushes be all the way Whalers. behind. His the pressure is great though. He needs to get a move on a bit. The rest of the team about to come under some serious pressure. He's reliant on this being slowed down. Takas does yeah, a Yeah, here are the raid bosses, man. Look at them. Two kills, those sheriffs. 
Inferno. Working out, and it's now left onto Cloud. An incredibly quiet game for him so okay, far. He now. almost steps up when needed, but the tank is there to the finish Ray it The Ray bosses off. chat. 5-1 for pistols, by the way. yet again. Pistol gods. But a pistol under Gentlemate's belt. Correct me if I'm wrong. That, well, I can see it actually there. It's two pistols now on this map. Those injections of rounds basically making the only difference between these two teams. Let's come to rifles. Could even say that GX looked better in that previous half. They got their four round streak. They had a lot of success on A. It was easy to break through. That's such an adorable team. <laughs> Those high fives looked anything but gentle. <laughs> Don't know if that matched your power though, Tom. Still stinging from that. It was two days ago. Don't know what you mean. I'll push out of GX, but there's a trap waiting. Come on, boy. Come waiting. I had a trap waiting. So that info is definitely there. I think they only saw two. Maybe there was an extra set of feet alongside Burpo, but that'll be the most information to work with. Luckily, Whalers only has a pistol, so even as he goes down, it's not the end of the world. Red guard with the share. Uh, sorry, the red guard with the guns. Under threat yet again. With red guard forced back by utility. He has an angle to do some damage, but just not the weaponry for it. Yeah, and the rest of the team. Well, all the information was there. Planted. Gentlemates allowed okay. another death. Cadavra's and Cadavra. Catch a timing. Maybe earn an orb or two in one way or Might another. Be the death. Probably not the way that he wanted. As Hoodie will drop one more. He only had a pistol. Now any more weaponry dropped is much more damning. This would be something that has to be rebought. And well, it doesn't look like there's going to be anything. It's left all onto Hoodie. Steps will be heard. And the shot will be connected. That's going to be the sniper drop. Yeah, it was the marshal though. Reigning two players, not really that much of a benefit of hunting this one down, but I, I guess the extra orb is wanted by an attack. He's had a fantastic game. 15 and 7 on the KO is something that you kind of think. Sorry, 16 and 7 on the KO. Maybe that over the Phoenix was the play. <laughs> Do you reckon? I don't know. I'm not sold just yet, Tom. But altogether, decent damage for GX. Another yeah, and, that they can be and the bonus by looks nice. Much more enthused by what I've seen, certainly on Sunset and here on Breeze from this GX squad. If they had a pistol behind them, because I'm sure you, at home you've seen a 9-5 scoreline and we're harping on that at the five team. Going, ah, they've done nothing, it's over. Uh, but they have been able to fight back in, in the rifle rounds. They haven't got a pistol under their belt, which is both pistols and the follow-up, that's four rounds. The gap is four rounds. Tells you everything you need to know. But that advantage whether fickle or not, it does sit with mates. And I like that though, the, the shock dart, uh, a shock dart molly I mean, does create question mark like you, they could have been in A main. The only, quote unquote, and then they insta group towards the B the here. Do some work. Yeah, the sun up here is Keep an eye on Cloud's defensive recon. That could be, a, that could be the big one. Coming along. The full Looks good. Will be onto cloud. He's had one kill in the Looks first great. half, two Ooh. in the second, and that's not going to be changing Wait, he, just he yet. got a, a kill even though he was revealed here? So individually talented. He's definitely being missed at the moment, but it's an even trade for now. Hoodie under pressure, and he'll fall. Vitinho, he made that rotation in the end. This one's for free. <laughs> Nobody guarding the drone. He won't get an easier kill than that, but he needs some support now. I think he's regretting droning from on top of the box. Oh, he's 100% regretting that one. That's gonna did the comms not come in from when the kill GX was, or did they fully TP away? A 3v3 player spread across Redgar's flank. Well, late rotation more so, catching the flank hey, of Whalers. Right. Big kill and scalp to take as they look towards the site. Cadaver's 46 Daniel. HP, and now the last man standing. Stuck inside of Good me. Luck. Three players on their way. Plenty of time still to defuse that if they can just deal with him. And the wall bang is enough on low HP. A sixth round found it's for GX. It's still a nice Not a bonus, bonus in terms mates, of damage. It looked but... like they could get a little bit more done. Yeah, I, I think just being caught by a couple of timers. I, I, again, like being in the drone there, a massive risk when you don't have that backside control. Yeah, and then they knew who was backside. I wonder what the comms were like. I, I maybe missed a fake TP at one point, but I don't think so. Gun. Will be what costs them is around. Now you look at the ultimates. Both teams with that dimensional drift on the Yoru. What? And a null command as well. Wait, that was him on the drone. Definitely stuff to play with. Yeah, it was definitely a bad com. Do, do you reckon they come to the, like the See, trade the came in from in here? Space. Every game counts for them. Yeah. I, it's them and Koi that don't really have opportunities. I to think make it was a bad mistakes. com. Because there's no way he it's drones like this, knowing. 
some teams if like the right con came in there he was back as saying then others can almost consider themselves out but Jax it's still an almost but losing to Gentleman so it wouldn't set them up I'll handle this. to be in a strong position Takas is going to be leading the way always seems to bring value for the squad in these sort of positions so much information to be had the pop flash is perfect from the tank he's still continuing his reign of terror but eventually is put down Insta TP over towards Shaw. It's one of those rounds where they want to plant here. Smoke's down for it. It took me a good 15 seconds to realize where he teleported to. I thought he'd gone to a different map. He's around middle, playing it slow. The tank dropped the rest of the squad. This is weird, man. We got a lurking Yoru. As he comes out of it, he makes noise. So the original plan was to plant where this X is. Close by making the rotation ult used. He has to strike now, and Fatinho is the one to deal the damage. Dropping Takas leaves the spike in limbo. It's in the spawn right now with no direction on where to go. Cadaver looked like he had an opening, but he's dropped. Yeah, this one fell apart. And with that, I think they had to try force the plant here. I don't know why they didn't really. They are. 15 seconds though. There's, there's they were no just so scared of the guy on the stairs, but you can still plant where they wanted to plant. The this just looks like and then, they, the then they had the smoke oh, down, well they had a luck, and they had a guy that was going to go over towards shore. So they, they, got themselves they really the messed up not, got the not plant here. Had an attack on the deck, basically taking away everyone's utility. Uh, two boots of beat, thanks so much man, appreciate the whole year as well. Thanks for the whole year of support mate. They made the assumption that everyone was already gone. And that quick thinking from Vitinho to go back over to the other side of the map is ultimately what won them the round. And finding a high impact kill that meant that, okay, well, we don't have the space we thought we had. And so we got 30 seconds to try and take a risk and make a play. Yeah, Red Guard being able to use the yeah, girl theft as well. Yeah. It really forced the I issue. get the frustration there. That was a bit of a disaster. So we got three marshals. The marshal I mean, I kind of like this. Angles. Yeah, everyone, everyone gets this. Everyone gets one. They take that fight on mid. That'll be real team synergy. You have to All shoot three. two. Yeah, at the same <laughs> time if both of these. While he shoots yeah, one. if both and of if them uh, the shots, hit win. their shot, it's an op. Or just him in the face. For now, at least they're fairly spread out. A buddy system in play. I actually, really like this Dude, round. loves a headshot. It hasn't started well with the tank drops. <laughs> no. The idea of having a rifle with. A marshal, you do damage like that to Cloud, it's going to be easy to follow through with that scope later on. A one man less for gentlemen to work with. Taken out. I'm sure the cam is destroyed, but it doesn't seem to be a clear way in just Coach yet. from CS, he looks familiar. You know, yeah, existence. Thinned out bit by bit with these individual yeah, duels. big time. But that's the thing, Source. we've had the call of Purpo in mid. Uh, uh, now CS Purpo go. on A. I wonder if he'll finish it off with B. Oh, he's already spotted a player. Back towards middle. Pretty much in the best team source ever saw. And again, this time is ticking, but they're just not giving anything. GX are waiting for them to make a move. They're, they're not doing the, the same sort of pushes we saw from the side of Gentlemates. They are forcing them into a spot left. where they have to execute. And okay, sure, you can save those two rifles, but even Purpo now is starting to doubt if anybody's actually still here. No what real need CSS for a on? rotation. Just getting into a passive position and now has that info. But they got 15 seconds to try and get onto this site. Get the plant. That's a nice shot from Bears. Red guy can do it all. To isolate the player at the back of the site. Oh, and rotating shot. Patino just Patino missing, can do it all. missing a shot. Six seconds to try and do anything for Cadaver. It is not going right, to be yeah, the I mean, case. Fatino hit some nice said, shots. Fatino has consistently rounds, been hitting Giant nice shots on this map. Yeah, and here they're playing very clinically. Their first two kills, operators across the map repositioning for Purpo, keeping them on the back foot. And from there, okay, the, the last fights, they go their way, sure, but the reason they do is because the timer is so low. These players have to up the pace, run through the site, and it just That's leads to those true, problems. Danny. I think the discipline is true. on display Facts. from G uh, GX is not what mates expected to run Nine, against eight. because they were gentle mates if they lose this have to eco last stage oh, maybe it okay. would be that that's a that was a mistake that was, that was the counter yep we it's a commitment GX do exactly the same thing where you have that shock dart you have that snake bite oh this no is, he's gonna get coined a drone again <laughs> bears Oh, he's going to be so upset. Oh, that <laughs> nice assist. Brilliant assist from Hoodie there. Putting a snake bite onto a guy already at a drone. But look at the rotation. It doesn't even matter. There you go, Redgar. Gets hit by the knife. Although the information Can't is do there, too much for a little bit. Redgar now has everything to do. A kill Wait is minimal. Wait out the knife. He needs to try and get something here. And they're just walking up. He's now realized 
how close right, they actually are. So much information being had by the utility, but he needs to get something, not expecting anybody that close, and the tank will go down. Putting this into an advantage, and he's surviving. Ah, he's no doing unbelievable. Just yet, and they're gonna go peeking. He's and he's staying alive, he's getting dinks as well. as well. And the fact that the rest of GX is rotated in to cover him. It's just a turret. Wait for the wall to strike back to aside, then jump up. That is a lovely, lovely round. Regal played it perfect. The round. And maybe Gentleman didn't GX send it fast enough. The gap. It was a four round gap on the back of pistols and the follow up. Now they're neck and neck. Yeah, the defensive side has actually looked very, very good for them. Even after the sort of initial blip, like it, it a good read coming out, but. Not expecting Fitinho, and, and that's the thing. Fitinho has been on fire. But we talk about this guy taking a back seat for Purpo to come in on that duelist role. Right now, he's making a case why he should be the primary. The guy is 21 yeah, devastating round, yard. considering that they have They're the eco the now. Across the map. They Time out for the been eco. Able to deal with him. It's basically been him versus Natonk on the other side, 19 and 11. Both players putting up fantastic performances, but that round was more on record. The fact he survives such an absurd amount of time, but also predicts where they'll peek it from. So, okay, if I've cleared this angle, they have to be here. I've got a teammate now covering here. It's just good reactive plays from the IGL. Someone, again, who in the last split received an unbelievable amount of criticism because of his spatial awareness, because of being caught yeah. in the back, caught off with weird TPs, like, you name it. That was a great round from him. And Redgar's looking at this game, saying, Bayaz, don't worry, I know how you feel, bro. <laughs> These things happen to the best of us. Because they happen to Redgar. Oh, yeah, Bayaz has had a tough time. A couple of times caught off in the last few rounds. Uh, in Mr. That Scientist, drone, man, thank you so much with the Prime. Thank you for the four positions. months. And it's strange thank not you, to see. Thank you. What the agents are going to see? Yeah, I think that's Kill it a on Abyss. It's a lot of those agents those are, those that are good in this map. Omen's in incredible. In I, I think Sage is borderline a must. Yeah, like, I just know everyone's going to play. Off. Everyone's going to play, at least for the first two weeks, everyone's going to play off-site post-plant. And if you have a Sage and you force him to play site, Fitinho did if then there was other players you're just there, gonna you're just gonna win every game for dumb. the first two weeks <laughs> you have to but, force but them to play the, on site and no one's gonna be like for all of their practices well. playing off site is just gonna work so i think sage is pretty much a must so but, far, especially when coming up against Fitinho but, because yeah loads of agents are good on this map 22 and 10 now something around that margin a bad this is on abyss yeah especially like this is the Fitinho. i guarantee any team that plays sage for the first month uh, on abyss stage, maybe not even a month maybe two three weeks so many of the spanish we'll just win every game impressive he would be well, the thing about like when they hit. have got to big events he has been nuts Absolutely. like look and he had some crazy performances yeah. it just feels like seasonal play week to week we didn't get that value out of a big battle coming it's a nice up. shot the one to win it just an elbow. With that shuts down any idea for mates to go yeah. pushing up on mid. But that's the thing. I think this dynamic as a setup is really nice for them. You have the absurd aggressiveness of Vitinho and then the passive operator play from Purpo. Because Purpo's not been missing these easy sitters, but put him up close, maybe it goes a little bit wrong. Vitinho though, put him up close and he'll pop him. Vitinho face. looks massively on point. Um, we get to a similar stage where the first half was, it feels like, where they're just starting to stack up a lot of money. Board. And right now, well, I don't even think that gentlemates need to consider how to beat GX. They need to figure out how to beat Fatinio. I wasn't really sold after that first map. You know, it, the reality is, I won't, so I wasn't sold on GX. For, uh, understandably, 13 to 1, they got dominated. But the thing you'll always say about gentlemates is when they get time to prepare, when they come in prepared, you're screwed. And on split. Yes, there were a few individual duels that just weren't hitting, but for the most part, it was that they were on the back foot from the second barriers went up, made that control of the map, they pushed and pulled it, they caught players with their back turned. It was a masterclass of how to play split. The wrong time for it with the upcoming changes. So the knife getting shot GX, gives them a lot of information the sunset, that they probably push mid, and you, you would imagine with a jet Yoru, like it's these two positions. All of a sudden. And now coming into Breeze, when it comes to rifle rounds, they've been the more impressive squad. Yeah. In this series, their, their arc, their character arc has been impressive. And all that's left to do is to close it out now here on Breeze. Ten yeah, so Drone goes nine. in, Three Yoru takes the TP, Ooh, and Wailers finds other ones over the towards wall. short, to and just survives in five. But where does he go from here? He, he's actually going to go forward into Wailers. Ends up being the right call. Whalers is so low on HP that facing this would be a risk. The rest of the team again, though, are just going to start pushing in the other direction. The tongue. This is 
How Paul long is he going to hold this spot? for? Not to be confused. The board spot. He's not going to shoot. Not going to give his position away. The spike has gone in the other direction, though. They're leaving this man here. Left. Look at where Hoodie is. He may even oh just my. accidentally <laughs> step on his head. This is insane. Apart without even realizing. And actually, Cat yeah, is going to be the one to get up. his kill. It means that this position still hasn't been revealed. The push-up from the tank is going to go even further. They're trying to find Rega. They're trying to find the man on the back oh of the God, side. Oh, God, so tempting to swing this. Oh, that's a good connection. Oh, the second yeah. burst didn't hit, and the push oh. through from the oh tank. He God. will get a second chance at Cloud, <laughs> thanks to the Hunter's Fury. still active. Ooh. Oh, okay. 2v5, but it's peak. Still for GX. Purple. Operator in hand. One five HP. To use. It could help to get through that pit. And the oh my God, two v two. To find a kill in the tank down. Both players left in the pit. Whalers on five HP. And no way. He's five HP. Five it's not planning for him. For mates in this round, or GX will hit eleven. Whalers oh catches the first, but needs to stop the defuse. Oi, oi, oi! That is an unbelievable round. <laughs> that double GX killer door is ridiculous. <laughs> 2v5. Oh my god. Your offense is terrified. Fiddy's on fire. This dude is on another level. Yeah, I like mean, he has been hitting unreal the shots the whole was, map. That was pure instinct, pure reactions. And this is around the look done. He's chasing his man down, sees the second, Oi, snaps, and then is... kills the other through the door. This is the man oh, that was promised. That, this is the doing, representative bro? of Spain. <laughs> Even Redgar's lost. lost of what his team Yeah, I mean, it was in, that was very impressive. And nine. I believe, was that 28 kills now yeah. for Fatinio? Yep. To say he's been the difference maker would be understatement of the year. That's a once in a lifetime performance for him. Be hard to match this going forward. Oh, the flash Ooh, causes okay. a bit of a problem. Purple hoodie, Fedinho all on the floor. All in the second. With a flurry of frags have taken the A site. The plan, yeah, the plan wasn't great. All alone, but I think they were worried about the Yoro ult, right? Well, Is that why the plan happened so quick fast? So or was it because of the Sova ult? I would have to watch it back again. I think it was because of the Sova ult. Could have seen him. The latest lurk of all time. No way. What is this map at the moment? It's okay. One few shaky shots from the tank. Cadaver will close Red Guard, leaving just the one man. And a tenth round on the board for mates. Gap down to one. It's late stages, and it's still to play for. Yeah, we've seen this from GX quite a few times, having leads. I'm, I'm thinking about it, like, that's the one thing I'm happy about. We, we haven't seen them play Lotus. Both their Lotus games, 16-14 wins when they've been in the lead and let it slip. But to have six round streak and then just a round like this, just an explosive round from Gentlemates. I feel like they almost just let go of nice. trying to counter, trying to come up with ideas and just played off that individual skill that we know they have. And they're looking to do it again. Ooh, up double trip. Straight through in towards okay, this B-side. the has gone because of the knife They know exactly where he is. Hunter's Fury to try and eliminate him. Purple already there in support. <laughs> it's it's such a good one. pick though. Purple is absolutely sending nice it on sight. He's still going too. Dash still yeah, they got the Yoru, Yoru here as well. Victim. Flash used on backside. What a weird here. round. Can Whalers get double no kill sight? Drift and spikes down in the open. They've oh, got to fight for shot. it. GX are winning the duels. There's one. The no. Down goes Whalers with Bayas as the last man standing. Here comes Fatinho looking for him. Looking for a position to lock him out of this round. Now surrounded. And it in just fact, leaves. it's a ruse. <laughs> the gate crash out of there. Oh, That's going to run the clock no, away now. Man. Bro, Smelt the, blood in the, the, the VOD review for Gentlemates on this one. Turns out it was just Ribena. Yeah, pretty devastating. Time wasted. And that's all that was really the goal. Out of charges. Bayaz. It, to walk into this crossfire, the contact left. is the deepest player in it. Well, Purpo's not missing Disaster a Disaster round. We've okay, up his two. Throughout the game, but this was his round. And that's the thing. This yeah, shout out to Purpo. Purpo did so much. Was, yeah. Okay, they've relied on the B site defense that was there from Redgar. They've relied on his utility. Let's remove that immediately. And just for a second, they forget. Sick recon. The Purpo exists. And just Lovely look flash. at how aggressive they were to get back in and try and help their teammates. Next. 
That one's gonna haunt dreams. Oh, I got nothing for that one. No, without a doubt. Good Few missed nice, bullets. Is it? This late on into the game, 12 to 10, two in a row for Mates. Liquid played, they play next round. started this series by 13 winning their opponents. And I'd almost give them a 13-0. They're not welcome to the club, but my goodness, they earned it. It's the yeah. highest trip I've ever Five seen. This one as well. <laughs> Mini could straight up walk underneath yeah. that. 9-5 up. And everything's slipping away. Oh. Kadavra, though, big play from him to get an opener, but they've still got to deal with Red Guy again. He's just irritating to play, and he's done well. Finds a second kill in a spot where it looked like he should have got nothing. Kada is back to back. A Romeo and Juliet story that also will probably end in death. Spoilers. There's also a flank coming in from Hoodie as well. The thing is, there's double trips. They're making sure that there's no gap for him to play around. In fact, even a camera. The setup is there to make sure they have it's all It's looking the like they don't know that the Viper's close. As they now try and, and fight he this 3v3. Oh, no, he has popped the wall. It's Kata's position. It's so beautiful, the timing. He's been oh. reading his opponents all series long. And this could be hit. Fatinho down, and he retreats, buying that little bit more time. Holding on to dear life in this series, and okay, they will still alive. themselves at least one Never more had a really round. nice round, though. Yeah, they to had no 11. idea he was close. the distance on Breeze, the final map in the series. This could be where it slips away for <laughs> GX yet again, or where mates find themselves losing the race just seconds from the finish line. A lot of this round came down to Cadaver. He was blind, too. For a new player to come in. After a decent amount of time in the tier two, also one of the few players that's actually coming yeah. in for all this while two. you thought I was Team Liquid's coach, bro. It's been, He's it's been had over one two hell of years. A but if you're a gentleman's fan, you might have to ask him just for a little bit more. It's a long time, dude. Again, it seems like the lean is towards this B side where they've had more success over the last couple of rounds, but. Plenty of players for them to deal with, and it's all a ruse. Again, just trying to sell these fakes, Purple. but look at the position of Purple. He's waiting wow, really for them nice to come though. back. And that's Takas gone. He has to watch from the sidelines. It's also the early warning flare up in the air. GX, no, it's an A play that they're angling for. That was a clear B fake. Now they're moving towards this site with four players, locking off all this control that mates would want to slip Blood their way the through. Whalers would want to go through the doors. When the cloud is recon up. As well. This guy is still on B with 55 Ooh, okay, seconds Okay, so he heard some of the that. running, the knows that there's a good amount over towards the A, calls the road tape back towards B. So a lot is going to be down to Redgar, and a lot is going to be down to Whalers. To get that impact as four players rotate, it's all in the ciphers, really. Do, and it might seem like a simple task. Red has been hit by the knife again. Do they he's learn from earlier and actually speed up and just send it for this guy? The back side, they know that. that he's here. It's also the, pis the position no. that he has played from goes so down. many times. Flank is caught on Whalers. Redgar still up close, now being pushed on and good for the yeah, first. He's doing great the in these rounds, the info in their hands. And look at GX. The whole squad is here to play and to save the day. Oh, no. Kata and Bayas. Two quick kills. Kata on another. All of a sudden, it's looking doable. Oh, I got close. Okay, nicely done from Giants. Fatino had Fatino and Popo had an absolute map. Honestly, both of them. Uh, Red got had some good runs as well. Yeah, I, I, to be fair, some rough ones, but some really good ones as well.